everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the tutorial series on how to implement the SQLite 3 database with the help of a Python programming language. Today I have chosen a very interesting topic of a relational database that is known as database trigger. As per Wikipedia, trigger is a procedural code that is automatically executed in a response to a certain event on a particular table or a view in a database. Don't get confused, let's do some coding and try to understand this trigger with one very real time use case. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the same code which we have used in the past video, but before that, I'm just gonna explain you the use case. Right? So, what I want to do is whenever user insert any records into a stock table, then I want automatically new record into a table name trigger underscore start underscore table with additional column of insertion tag. Basically what I need is what does it mean? Let me just take it. So my use case says, uh, whenever you know the user insert any record into the taste in the table named stock, there should be an immediate insertion on a, another table which is known as trigger underscore stock underscore table. It has all the columns what a stock table is having, but it should have additional column which would give me an insertion time. So basically, to fulfill this, what I want to do is, um, this is a code which have which I have been using for this tutorial. So we are just making a connection, then we are defining a cursor, then we have a bunch of create table queries. So this is for stock. I'm just keeping this table as as is. But here I can just put something like figure underscore stock underscore table. This is the name which I want to use. And I want same column which we have here, right? But it should have additional column. have additional column which would give me the time of insertion of this field text the fault to have a current time we can use this timestamp keyword current timestamp yeah. okay so now we have now i'm creating a two tables the first one is stock another one is a truck trigger stock table then i want to insert a record into the stock table i can use this statement and i can delete this and select I just have table called trigger stock table I can just copy and replace this here so here I'm just creating the first table and trigger table and then we have these two insert statement I'm just inserting a parent query then okay I think just make it a little bit more readable trigger and the other one has no child so let's make it trigger so if I just run this code now, let's see what happens. I can see that first record is being inserted into the stock table, but there's nothing in that second table because there is no code yet written for them. And that is where we can use a create. Where that is where we can use a trigger. So to have a trigger, first we have to create a trigger, right? So for creating a trigger, I'm just putting a create trigger query. And to have a trigger, it's pretty much same like what we have to have for create it's trigger. Same thing what we use for create table. Then we have to give a name. Let me just give a name. Trigger underscore stock. Now after this, we have to tell when I want to trigger this, right? So I have to give. So there are three options we have after. Let me just write it down for here. So, so, so let me just went to trigger this off. So automatically. And the options we have after, then we have before. And then we have next These are the three options. Let's see in the interaction what option we are gonna use. We are going to use after here because what it says that use case says that once the record get inserted into the stock table, then there should be a new entry in the trigger stock table as well. So after inserting into the 
stock table. Inserting means then this is my event. So insert is gonna be my event. So now what all options, what all events we have which are supported by SQLite 3. So events support. In other additional database, we have some other event as well, like you know, dropping schema and all, like logging when user is logging, all that, but SQLite doesn't support that. SQLite support insert as an event and then update and then we have to, so these are the three events which we have so here for our use case we have to have after insert then on which table I want this to be on stock table right and after this we have defined our event we have defined a when to be executed now we have to write a code to write a code we have to start with begin and then we have to end the code So between this begin and end, we can just write any code whatsoever, any code we want to execute. What we want, we want insert into which table we want a record to be inserted into this trigger stock table, right? What values we want to write? So we want all these columns like right? stock ID, stock symbol, stock ID, and then we have the stock name and stock symbol. And fourth column is by default is going to be populated for me. Now we have to provide our values. Now we want same values what are being passed as a value when we are just inserting a record with an insert statement. How can I refer those value right? To refer those value, we have two keywords. Since it's a, it's a, it's a insert, and it means that's a new record. So we have a keyword new. When I put a new dot, right? So whatever the table we have, right? That that the, the values which we are passing into this table, those things are getting stored in this new keyword as an object. To refer the value for a stock ID, we have to just write new dot and then stock ID. Okay. And then we have to just put new and we can just use stock name, single name, and I can use this as a stock symbol. Okay, so that is how we can just refer the value which we are passing as an insert statement. Okay, so now we have just created a query and we have to now create this trigger. To creating another trigger, I have to pass this this so that the trigger can be created okay and this time let's see what happens okay now you can see the moment I inserted a second record I can have a one record here right and which has all the same value which we have here in two for stock and FRS but along with this we have a fourth column which is telling me at what time at what date time stamp that record has been inserted let's clearly understand one more time what's going on here just first delete that db so that we can understand the fresh code. So let me just delete this. Let me just run it one more time. Now we have one record in stock. Uh, we have a one record in our trigger stock table, which has additional column, which is telling me okay, what time that record has been inserted into the stock table, this create stock table. So that is how we use a trigger and just see how powerful it is and we, so so you can just understand i mean what kind of application you are writing you are writing and do we really need to create a trigger that would does a lot of heavy lifting for us but right now we i don't need to worry about you know if there is any new record is being inserted into the stock or not since i have a trigger that would keep strict that would keep a track of it and i don't need to worry about you know when the records are being inserted trigger will automatically take care of that Similarly, it will take care of my update if if I just create this trigger something like um, Rather than having an insert if I just put update on if I just delete on right that we're gonna just cover in a future video So that's it from my side for you to just explain what the trigger is and how much powerful it is and where you can use it Right, so that's it from my side for this video If you have any feedback or suggestion, please feel free to put that into the comment section I would love to incorporate that into my future video Thanks for watching this and as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff.